day everyone and uh, welcome to another painting tutorial. Uh, I am Empress Crusade. Today we're going to be painting one of the most highly requested um, uh, tutorials uh, that I've um, had both on the Instagram account and on uh, YouTube. Um, everyone wants to know how I paint my orc skin. It's sort of a little bit uh, untraditional. Um, usually it's quite bright and um, almost fluorescent I guess you could say uh, for orcs. Uh, but I've gone for a, a darker, dirtier look, uh, a more fleshy look uh, to my orcs to give them a little bit of realism, take them away from that cartoony look. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I go about that. It's a very, very quick scheme. I devised it uh, simply to be able to paint a large number of orcs in a very small amount of time. So there's really not much involved. Uh, there's no neatness at all. It's just get the colours on and um, get them on quickly. Uh, there's no tricky techniques involved here. It's all very simple, um, very quick, and um, again, there's, there's a lot of detail I could put into these models, um, but I don't, uh, simply for the fact I want to get lots of them on the table. Uh, at this stage, I've painted well over 120 orcs. Um, these are the only knobs I've painted so far, but today we're going to paint two more to add to this. Uh, so let's get ahead and um, let's do it. I'll show you what we're going to paint. These are the two knobs here. Um, so they're basically from the same kit. Just your standard knobs. Uh, we're going to start off with the clothes. The reason I do the clothes before the skin, which is also sort of non-traditional, everyone sort of tends to do the uh, the skin first because um, it's the largest thing. Um, but I go for the clothes first, and the reason being is that it's going to be a lot easier to clean up um, accidental spills from the skin onto the clothes than it is the other way around. So you don't want to have to be painting the skin twice. Uh, so it's easy to paint over clothes if you need to, so that's the way I'm going to do it. So we'll do the clothes first, and then the skin, then the metallics, um, and then some other details, um, maybe the checkers as well. So, very simple scheme, let's get started. The first colours you need for the clothes are Steel Legion Drab from GW, and Dryad Bark from GW. Uh, these are the two colours I use for all the clothes that I do. And um, what you'll notice is that I alternate the colours of their clothing. So you can see here, two knobs. Um, one's got light brown pants, one's got dark brown pants. One's got dark brown top, and one's got light brown top. Uh, they've both got black boots, but you'll see here, this one's got a black top and um, light brown boots. So I just alternate it between them. So in the case of the two that we're doing today, I'll paint the, um, maybe the pants of this, this one, Dryad Bark, the pants of this one, Steel Legion Drab, and then vice versa for the, the rest of their clothes. Um, just to give them sort of an alternating look, you don't want them all looking the same, they are orcs. So uh, let's get started and um, yeah, let's have fun with this because they are really, really quick to do. Okay, so I forgot to mention, I've just uh, painted the browns on, I've done two coats of each brown. Um, just to mention, I've also used Xandri Dust uh, to paint um, a couple of the straps on the wrist of this guy. And um, yeah, just as a different sort of brown to, to break it up a little bit. Um, so yep, don't forget to do that. Um, you can use one of the other browns, for example. I've also used the um, dryad bark on this guy's wristband. So um, yeah, go ahead and make that decision yourself. Okay, so now for the moment you've all been waiting for, what colors do I paint the skin with? Well, to get that nice dark, dirty look, um, I use four colors, um, three for boys and four for characters and knobs, uh, for example, the ones we're painting here. So uh, Deathworld Forest for the base color, um, that's a nice dark sort of green woody color, I guess. Um, and then we shade that with Athonian Camo shade quite thickly. 
Um, the muscles and race parts are then painted with Elysian green. And then for the characters and knobs and anyone I, I think just deserves it, um, like these knobs here and the other knobs I've shown you before, we highlight the faces only with um, Ogren Camo. And the reason I do the faces only uh, with this color is just to save time. Again, uh, the faces are a focal point, there's a lot of character in the faces, so I try to pick it out with the Ogren Camo. I don't use this on boys or anything that I'm painting hundreds of. Um, so, uh, including uh, Gretchen as well, I've painted about 30 or 40 of them, uh, but I don't use that on them either. So, this is an optional one, but uh, these are the three main colors that I use for the, the, the skin. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that now. All right, so that's the skin on, uh, nice and quick. Um, just to point out that I've only done one layer of uh, the flesh tone on here. Um, you'll wonder why I've done two for the clothes but only one for the skin. Again, it's about thinking and trying to save time where you can. Now, the clothes are just gonna get a wash and that's it, that's the end of the clothes. So you need them to be as clean as possible and no, um, no uh, brush marks, but with the skin, there's no issue, you're gonna be covering it in a wash, and then 90% of the skin's gonna be covered in the Elysian Green later on. So again, it's about saving time, and speaking of saving time, uh, if you're sitting there waiting for this stuff to dry, um, get yourself a hairdryer. <laughs> this is my wife's. Um, go ahead and steal someone's, your sister's, your boyfriend's, your girlfriend's, your wife's. Um, grab one and sit here and blow them to death with this and it, it really speeds thing up, things up a lot. So um, yeah, there's a tip. Um, grab yourself one of them and that'll help you out a lot. Um, okay, so we're gonna get onto the wash now. Uh, it's very simple. It's just a matter of washing the skin. Um, don't get this onto the clothes. Um, we'll wash them in a different color later. Just while we're here and I'm doing this, there is another time-saving uh, thing you can do um, to, to save yourself even more time when you're painting these models. Um, and that is, if your brush can't reach a spot, um, say for instance, under the neck, in the clothes there, or, or somewhere else that's really hard to get to, there's a pretty good chance that no one's gonna see it either. So just leave it and move on. Um, don't waste your time, time trying to get to, to every single nook and cranny um, because in the end no one's going to see it um, and you could just fill it up with a wash if need be and um, no one will know the difference. Okay, so there they are, um, that's dry now. The shade has darkened the skin up quite a bit. Uh, we're gonna use that to our advantage now, and we're gonna use Elysian Green uh, on the muscles. Now the muscles on these models are quite clearly defined. Uh, some Orc models uh, may not be such the same. Uh, these are quite a new kit, these, um, these knobs. Uh, but you might find that older kits uh, have less defined muscles, so you need to use your imagination here and there. Um, but, but we're quite literally just putting this on in, in large uh, areas, I guess. Uh, let me show you. So on this guy, for example, you can see the muscle is clearly defined. It's large areas. So this area, that area, big muscle on the bicep, big muscle, big muscle, big muscle. So just Use your imagination if you can't uh, see it clearly. Over this side, uh, it's quite clear as well. Um, the muscles are, are clearly defined, so you just paint them in and you leave the recesses dark. It's really that simple. Uh, it's the same with the face too. Leave the recesses dark and paint around the rest. Um, don't forget to paint the big muscles that are underneath the t-shirts here. 
Um, hopefully you can see them. Um, but yeah, very, very quick. Uh, we're going to do two very quick um, layers with this. The first layer to define sort of the, the area of the muscle and the second layer we're going to go in just a little bit uh, less uh, on just so we can sort of get a, a smooth-ish uh, um, transition from the dark to light. So here we go, big muscle on the back, that's it, just define each muscle, it's really that simple. There's a muscle there, there's usually three muscles on the shoulder, like that. Again, I'm not being entirely neat, just putting it on there. Um, it's, <laughs> I can't be sort of much more straightforward than that. Uh, that's, that's really how easy it is. Where you see a ridge, that's usually a muscle and you paint it. So that's the first layer done of Elysian Green. Uh, this one's pretty much dry, so I'm going to move on to the second coat. Uh, the other one's still dry. This only took about five minutes to do the first layer. Um, again, it's not about being accurate. Um, you're painting orcs, you're also painting something that's flesh. Um, now, things that are flesh are generally dynamic, so um, they'll change from model to model. Uh, so, um, ready for the second layer, I'll show you what to do there. So just the Elysian Green again. And this time you're going to go on the center of the muscle. And you're just going to put a dog like that. So this will take even less time. Just bringing out the center of the muscles uh, where you'll see the most brush strokes. And leave the outer areas so that you get a more solid green on the inside of the area and a more transparent green on the outside. Okay, so let's get started on the Ogren camo um, on the faces. Again, I don't recommend doing this to all your models, uh, especially boys, because they're just gonna be pulled off the table in handfuls, which is <laughs> why I play orcs. It's just too much fun. Um, fine detail brush or a small layer brush um, and use your palette, get a nice fine tip. And you just wanna pick out uh, some of the sinewy details on, on the model. So um, bits of the lip there. Um, line down the cheek here, tips of the ears, hopefully you can see all this, um, some lines down the chin just to give him a bit of uh, wrinkle I guess um, and that's about it. Uh, there's not much detail on these these two models I have here uh, due to the fact they're both wearing masks but um, add detail where you can, where you think it's appropriate. And that's it. It um, brings a nice little bit of detail to the models. There's a lot of character in knobs. Um, there's a lot of um, expression on their faces. So if you can pick some of that out, it's, uh, it's always a bonus um, when you're playing with them and uh, if you're taking photos of your models for friends. Uh, so there we go. Just get the cheekbones in there. There's not a lot of detail on this guy either. Um, so a couple of... There, so it's really, really simple. Um, looks quite good, adds a bit of detail to them. Um, but again, you could go and do that to all the muscles, but it's just gonna take a lot of time. So that's it, uh, that's the skin done. And we can move on to details now. <coughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the metallics now. Uh, we do that with Lead Belcher and Sycorax Bronze. Uh, we'll do those together. We'll pick out some, some bits and pieces. Uh, then we'll wash it with Agrax Earth Shade. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and paint all the, um, 
the metallics and I'll show you what I've done. It's, it's quite straightforward, I don't need to show you. Alrighty, so there we go, I've done the metallics. Um, I've used lead belcher for all the metallic parts and then once that was dry, I put Sycorax bronze over the top with two layers of this. Uh, it's a really bad color. The pigment's not very strong, so you'll need a couple of coats of Sycorax bronze. And uh, this is what they look like in the end. Um, so there's your metallics, painted the weapons, the buckles, the toe caps. Um, I've just picked out various different panels here and there. There's a little skull in there. Um, some bullets, uh, just random pieces really of, of the bronze. Um, next up is the real secret uh, for painting orcs uh, quickly. And this is what ties everything together. Uh, Agrax Earthshade is the best <laughs> wash in the world for orcs. Um, it's the best thing ever. Um, so here is basically you're going to cover the entire model except for the skin in Agrax Earth Shade. Um, so the whole thing, even the black areas, just cover the whole model. The only thing you want to avoid is the skin. Um, for the parts that meet the skin, however, you want to make sure it settles in that gap. Uh, for instance, um, around the, the uh, little wristband there. Uh, let it settle in the, the edges that, that divide the two and um, it, it sort of creates a nice shadow, a good separation. Uh, between the skin and the the object whatever it is um, but yeah cover the whole model now you only want one layer of agrax earth shade on the clothes um, but once it's entirely dry you then want to do a second layer onto the metallics all the metallics so you want the metallics looking quite dirty quite dark uh, and then we'll dry brush over it to make it look sort of worn i guess um, Okay, so while the wash is drying, we're going to get started on the teeth. Um, you can also do the fingernails at this stage if you, if you wish. I don't do the fingernails. Um, again, it's a time saver. Um, it would add a lot of detail to them, but I just don't think they're that important. So the teeth definitely are important. Uh, orcs wouldn't be orcs without them hanging out their face. So we're going to use Zandri dust um, to base the teeth. Then we're going to uh, wash it with Agrax Earthshade and then highlight them with Screaming Skull. So very, very simple. Um, so you'll need a, a fine tipped brush, a small layer brush here. Just a little bit on your, your brush there, whoops. Um, and then pick out the teeth. Now if you're not entirely sure uh, where the teeth are, um, just paint what you think is teeth and um, and just do your best to use your imagination. Um, the wash will cover a lot up, so you can even paint this whole whole jaw like that. Um, I'll do this one too. I'm gonna stop dropping my models. Uh, there's a big tooth over this side, like that. There's a tooth over this side. So he hasn't got many, that's quite easy for him. Um, so we'll let that dry and then we'll wash it quickly. Okay, so you get your Agrax Earthshade out and just that fine tip brush again and just fill the mouth up out like that. Just fill it up, get around the teeth. Doesn't matter if you get it on the lips, um, it is an orc and it looks dirty. So um, fill it up like that and on this one we'll just go around the teeth here. Um, they're quite big, so just go around them, sort of add that shadow to them, and on that side too, and then we'll highlight them after we've dried it. Okay, so the wash is dry. I'm going to just um, quickly do a line highlight on the teeth, 
and then I'll put the second coat of wash onto the metallics and um, we can dry brush that after. So for the screaming skull, very quickly, just get a little bit on the end of your brush like that. Nice fine tip. Just do the upper part of the tooth like that. So on the other side here, just like that. Very quick. Over here, one tooth, big one here, small one in here, like that. Very quick, very simple. Right guys, so the uh, wash has dried. Uh, it's the second layer on the uh, metallics is done and you can see it's quite dark on the metallics now, which is good. Uh, we're going to dry brush this with uh, Rinfang steel now. Uh, I've got a small dry brush here. It's quite small, but you could probably go smaller. Um, but uh, yep, paper towel, Rinfang steel. So there we go. That's the dry brushing done. So the metallics have their shininess back and um, it's starting to look like finished models now. Um, okay, so that's that. Okay, so just while we've got the um, ring fang steel out, I've done the ring on the guy's nose, um, but I also want to add an effect that it's another effect I don't really add to the orc boys, but I think it works really well on on the knobs and that is just some scratches just subtle on the weapons there especially if they have axes I think it's definitely worth worth doing but um, just some simple scratches like that don't have to go overboard um, just a little bit just to add a little little bit more detail it only takes a couple of seconds and you're done so just really quick okay now comes the time where we're ready to do the checkered patterns um, as you can see on uh, these guys I've done the shoulder pads with the checkers on them um, since I painted these guys I've kind of changed the way that I do the checkers a little bit so if you see the difference between these two I haven't put the gray um, there's grey lines in between the blacks there. I haven't put that on this and I think it looks a little bit better. So I'm going to show you the new way that I do it. Um, and it basically starts with Ulthuan grey. So it's a layer paint, but it actually covers really, really well, almost like a base paint. So I'm just going to do a shoulder pad. to do the black checkers and for the black checkers I actually use uh, model air black uh, the reason I use this so you can hear it's very thin uh, but it covers really really well so you only need to do one layer of, of this over the white um, so give it a good shake and just a drop on the palette like that see there just the black drop and get a fine brush with a good tip and get that in there like that the first thing you want to do is define the edges of the the squares so you want to do a checkers crisscross pattern so first up I'll just oops, I think I've got some white on here okay so just go down We've done them a little thick, but uh, you get the idea. 
Just get them evenly spaced as you can all the way down the shoulder pad and then do the opposite way. If you haven't got a steady hand, that's no big deal. Um, Orcs painted these, so remember they don't have to be perfect. Um, though you are painting them, you're making it look as if they painted them, so don't worry yourself too much and just get it done quickly. There's no, no need to get all fancy. So there are the checkered patterns on there. Now all we need to do is use that black to fill in the checkers. Alright, so this check is done. It's really that simple. Um, nothing fancy about it. Uh, what we'll do now is, as you can see on this model, it's a little bit dirty on the shoulders there. There's a couple of rivets and scratches, so we'll just get some wash onto that and, um, and that's your model done. So, yeah. Okay, one more thing, just whilst you've got your fine detail brush and your black out, um, just clean up those belts and any bits that are supposed to be black and just get a nice coat onto those pieces um, just like that Here we are guys, they're done. Um, the bases are just drying the rim there, uh, but they are completely done. And how quick and how easy is it? And how good do they look? <clears throat> Especially in large groups. They just look so fantastic on the table. Um, you'll see them in battle reports and you've probably seen them in battle reports before. Um, they are fantastic there. <laughs> They've always been, um, since I've been painting them, in the last year they've been the most exciting thing that I've painted, and that is orcs in general. Uh, they're just so much fun. Uh, it, it's, it's good to let loose and um, let go of uh, vanity, I guess, and, um, and not worry about detail and, and worry about getting an army on the table, and they're just, just a load of fun to play with as well. Uh, so I hope you got something out of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a long time coming and I know a lot of you have been waiting uh, to see how I paint my orcs. Um, but there it is. Uh, now you've seen it. Now you can uh, do it yourself if you wish um, and take uh, whatever pointers you have out of this. I think the main thing that you can obviously notice for that tutorial is that um, speed is, is really what I've gone for for these guys. Um, and, and, and I do think they look really good um, in groups. So. Um, that's how I paint my orcs, and um, you've seen the um, how I paint my vehicles. Um, if you haven't, it's on the channel. Uh, recently, a couple of weeks ago, I released a tutorial uh, for that. Um, otherwise, that's it. I'm going to go and paint more orcs. Fancy that. I'm going to get started on it, and um, I'll see you in the next game or tutorial. Cheers. Take care.